Hello UT and hello the world, I'm your host, Andrew Rosas. One of my favorite things about Longhorn football is looking down on the side of the field and seeing one of God's most beautiful creatures. No, I'm talking about the fuzzy one covered in leather. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Bevo. I'm talking about Bevo, the Longhorn mascot that's captured our hearts and who makes a hilarious impression of OU football. <laughs> Sadly, our most recent Bevo, Bevo 14, has left this mortal coil and gone off to make immortal coils in that big pasture in the sky. But luckily, there's a new heir to the throne. Introducing Bevo 15. Our new mascot was provided to the university by John and Betty Baker of the Sunrise Ranch, who also provided Bevo 13, the longest serving mascot, and Bevo 14. And we here at Hook were lucky enough to sit down with the Bakers to tell us about our new bovine celebrity. So, how was this Bevo selected? November of 15, when we were making this look and review, uh, I put four steers that I thought it were prospects out of a group of many, and I took what I thought was the best four. And over a period of time, by watching them and as they developed over the next month or two or three a bit, I'd sort down, then I had three, and then I had two, and then I had one. And so he went to the top of the pile. What do I look for? Uh, three things, confirmation, color, and horns in the case of uh, a Bevo. Since you'd like one, uh, some hue of orange, I would say. The new Bevo is very young, but still weighs in at close to a thousand pounds. Something Bevo and I had in common as a baby. Hmm. What can you tell us about the new Bevo's pedigree and what sets it apart from other steers? He's young but he is a, a very, very beautiful animal. And I think the thing that, that really makes him so special at his age is he's so muscular and he's so well built. What kind of preparation goes into getting Bevo ready for his role as the mascot? We've done music, we've done flags, we've done, uh, uh, we put things that he had to cross over, you know, like, you know, cause they, everything is new and everything is scary. The life of a Texas celebrity has to come with some serious perks. So what's life like for Bevo right now? His royalty uh, enjoys a lot of time with my wife, Betty. She uh, sees him twice a day for several minutes per time, morning and evening. Uh, she feeds him, he's in his own private pasture. Caring for Bevo is a serious task. And we also got to talk with Ricky Brennis, the executive director of the Silver Spurs Alumni Association, the organization that selects Bevo, takes care of him and functions as his entourage. So besides football games, what other events does Bevo attend to represent the school? We had Bevo 14 at a birthday party where George Strait played for two hours. Uh, we've had Bevo 13 and 14 at a presidential inauguration. I mean, it, I think people would be stunned at the places Bevo goes and the opportunities Bevo provides. What's this feeling I'm having? Am I, am I jealous of a steer? Attending football games? George Strait birthday parties? Delicious feed bags? Seems like Bevo's living the dream. So what does it take to become a Silver Spur? The Silver Spurs is a uh, honorary student organization. Um, it's, uh, there's a GPA requirement. You need to be um, uh, complete a certain number of hours on campus. Uh, I think it's important that they probably have a special love for being a Longhorn, um, but they, one of the major criterion is being is campus leadership, and there's an interview process, and then uh, once you uh, become a part of the Silver Spurs, uh, typically four seniors each year are elected to be Bevo handlers. So it's a uh, only four Spurs really get to uh, take care of Bevo, and when you are talking about a school of 50,000, that's a pretty special position to be able to uh, say that you. We're a part of the live mascot tradition at Texas. My thanks to Ricky Brennis and John and Betty Baker for sharing so much about the new Bevo and for taking care of our very special mascot. I can't wait to meet Bevo 15 and I'm sure he'll be outstanding in his field. Even outstanding in his field. What's, is, is it really what? One millionth dad joke? Oh wow, that's crazy. Oh great, this is, oh man, I have so many people to thank. Uh, but first of all, if you like this video, please share it with your friends, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, I'm your host Andrew Rosas, reminding you to stay hooked.